In this video, I will share with you my favorite entrepreneurial books so far. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. If you're new to my channel, my name is Veronica. I'm a founder of a modest activewear brand, Fit Generation Apparel, a content creator and photographer. I document and share my business journey along with its ups and downs, valuable lessons and practical advice to inspire women like me to pursue their passion, take action and craft the life that they deserve. Reading books for personal development is a great way to expand your knowledge and learn and grow in order to become a successful business owner. Books are an excellent resource for business owners since they're able to learn from experiences and gain insights from other entrepreneurs. Books are the best way to put yourself in a position of power. If you're an entrepreneur or a business owner, books are such a great way to stay up to date in what is happening in your industry, learn new strategies when it comes to marketing your product. If you're an entrepreneur or a business owner, books are a good way to learn about your industry and stay up to date with what is happening in your field. You can learn about new marketing strategies and what you can do to grow your own business because you learn from successful people who have already done what you do. There are so many benefits to reading books as a business owner. Reading books will help you consistently grow and learn, pick up new skills, help you stay ahead of the curve in your industry. It will also help you solve problems and overcome obstacles as a business owner. And prior to reading that book, maybe you haven't even knew that you had a problem or you didn't know what the solution could be. Books are also an easy way of portable entertainment. You can take them with you anywhere. You can take them on, on the road. You can read them when you're traveling. You can read them while you're relaxing on the beach. And if you're always on the go like me, audiobooks can become your best friends. You can consume knowledge while you're doing the dishes, driving, working out, feeding your babies. Honestly, there are so many dead time in our day, but if we incorporate some learning, then we can grow personally and professionally, apply the strategies we learn in our business and thrive as entrepreneurs. And if you feel like books are too expensive or too inaccessible, you can't afford them and you can't afford an Audible membership, uh, those are all just excuses because there is uh, an amazing thing um, that has been there since the beginning of time is called the library. You can get your books for free in the library. And for me, uh, my library has a great service where audiobooks are also available and I check out my audiobooks every single week and I listen to them. So no excuses. You can consume and learn more on the go. So without further ado, let's dive into my five favorite entrepreneurial books so far. And let's start with, start with why. I actually have a physical copy of that book. As a business owner, it's always a good idea to go back to the basics. In this book, the author, Simon Sinek, addresses a very important question as why we do what we do as business owner and he also shares a lot of exciting examples answers to that question so start with why provides three very important aspects why you do what you do how what you do affects your company on all levels understanding long-form implications of doing things your way it's honestly such a good book for anyone who is trying to start or grow their business. And even if you don't run your own business yet, there are plenty of insights you can learn from to grow as a person. This book has also given me clarity uh, to grow as a person, as, as a business owner. And um, I wouldn't be where I am today if I never come across this book. Another favorite book of mine is Hashtag Max Out Your Life by Ed Milet. I actually had two copies of this book and I lent them to two people and now I don't have any of them. They're all gone. <laughs> so I'm going to insert a picture as well, but I know the audiobook is also available on Audible. 
Max Out Your Life is a simple guide you can follow to up-level your life and how you show up as a person and as a business owner. Max Out Your Life is perfect for people who are very serious about um, maxing out their potential and who really want to evolve into the best version of themselves. After reading this book, you will learn how to create habits that stick, how to build your self-confidence, how to shift your identity, and how to develop that desire to win in your life and your business. I absolutely love this book. It's so easy to read and understand. It's also a very short read, only about 100 pages long. I honestly finished it in two sittings. I really enjoyed the practical and actionable advice that is so easy to apply to your life right away. It really helped me to get out of my comfort zone, learn new things, and try new things in life. I would recommend this book to anyone who is looking for inspiration to make a shift and change any area of their life. If you just came up to me and asked me to recommend the best self-help book, um, I would say go read Max Out Your Life. It's honestly so good, so easy to read, and um, the advice is just great. I need to reread it. It's that good. Which brings me to my next favorite book, Eat That Frog, 21 Great Ways to Stop Procrastinating and Get More Done in Less Time. That sounds right up my alley. I consumed this book as an audiobook, and I really enjoyed it. Um, I actually think I listened to it in one go. It's a great time management book that I think everyone must read. The key message of the book is that successful people don't try to do everything. They focus on the most important tasks that actually move the needle in their life or business and they get them done. In other words, they eat their frogs. There's an old saying that if you start your day with eating an an ugliest live frog in the morning, then you've pretty much done the worst thing you can do all day. And that gives you the satisfaction. For the author Brian Tracy, eating a frog is a metaphor for doing the most difficult and impactful task first thing in the morning. We all have things to do um, that push us out of our comfort zone. We don't particularly want to do them just because they're difficult. Um, they push us out of our comfort zone. Uh, they make us feel, um, you know, like we are vulnerable in what way, in some way. But those tasks are the most impactful on our life or on our business. That's why in order for us to progress and grow um, in our life and our business, we have to get them done. And if we get them done first thing in the morning, that's great. We've done the most difficult thing there is to do. Um, we can focus on other things, but we've done that thing that is the most impactful in our life. Eat That Frog gives you actionable tips of how you can organize your life and schedule your time to get the most important things done. And it focuses on three important elements of time management, which are decision, discipline, and determination. I honestly love this book. It's very concise and easy to consume and understand. I recommend it to anyone who is looking for some concrete, no BS kind of advice when it comes to time management. It's my go-to book these days, um, especially if I need that very quick motivation. Let's move on to my favorite book and number four. Permission to Screw Up, How I Learned to Lead by Doing Almost Everything Wrong by Kristen Hadid. This book is so good. This story is about the author's experiences in business and how she reached overwhelming success in her business, not despite of her mistakes, but because of her mistakes. Kristen Hadid's company, Student Made, is a cleaning company where the employees are happy and fulfilled in their jobs, and her company is often referred to as the apple of cleaning services. Long story short, this book is about the transformation from being an incompetent leader to an expert in her field. The book teaches us that leaders don't have to be perfect. 
it really encourages people to go for it and to learn how to lead by taking action rather than waiting or overthinking. Permission to Scrap is honestly probably my favorite book. I finished it in less than a day. It's such an inspiring and honest story about how it's totally okay to make mistakes, uh, embracing them, and also learn from them rather than beating yourself up for them. Yep. I absolutely love this book and I learned so much from it and I highly recommend you check it out. And last but certainly not least, let's move on to the book number five. It's a book called Delivering Happiness, A Path to Profits, Passion and Purpose by Tony Shea. The author of the book is Tony Shea. He um, was the CEO of Zappos. It's a shoe retail company. Sadly, last year he passed away. Um, it's very, very sad. Um, in, in the book, he shares how he created unique culture and dedication to serve within his company. He uses stories from his own experiences running Zappos. And he shares some concrete strategies that help any company reach mind-blowing success. He also shows that creating happiness and um, doing outstanding things in business go hand in hand. He really takes you behind the scenes and shows um, the practices that really helped Zappos grow into the brand it is today. He also shows exactly why company culture is so important and he also believes that if you get the company culture right everything else in business will fall into place delivering happiness is honestly a life-changing book the tips the tricks the advice um, from tony shea really helped me uh, become a better businesswoman and really understand what makes a customer happy it also taught me how to stay happy, humble, and hungry as an entrepreneur. So these are my top five favorite entrepreneurial books. I've read many, many more. So if you want me to do a part two of this video and share more of the books that I love and that helped me on my business journey, make sure you leave me a thumbs up and comment below. Let me know so I can get onto it as soon as possible. Please share this video so more women can find out about these amazing books that can truly be transformative to us as people and as business owners. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel right here. And if you want to learn more from me check out these videos over here thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you later